the transmission matrix or the ABCD matrix. We have discussed the impedance matrix, the admittance matrix, and the scattering matrix. For all these matrices, the microwave network can be one board network, two board network, or in general, in a board network. But for the case of the transmission matrix or the ABCD matrix, it is valid only for two board network. Uh, that's what we are saying. The impedance matrix Z matrix, the admittance matrix Y matrix, and the scattering matrix representation can be used to characterize a microwave network with an arbitrary number of boards, starting from 1 to N. However, in practice, many microwave networks consist of cascaded connection of two or more two-board networks. As an example, if we are talking about a microwave amplifier, in the case of microwave amplifier, we have an input matching network, which is a two-board network, followed by the amplifier, which is, a, which is another two-board network, and the amplifier, the output of the amplifier is connected to an output matching network, which is a third two-board network. And maybe we use a band bus filter after the output matching network, which is a fourth uh, two-board network. So in the case of a simple circuit of amplifier, we have four cascaded two-board networks, starting from the input matching network, the amplifier itself, the output matching network, and a band bus filter. So that's what we are seeing in practice. Many microwave networks consist of cascaded connection of two or more two-board networks. Uh, for cascaded networks, the transmission matrix, which is the ABCD matrix, is the most appropriate representation for such two-board networks. Because, uh, as we will see, the total ABCD matrix of a connection of two board networks is the multiplication of this EBCD matrices. So in the case, it's convenient to use a two by two transmission or ABCD matrix for each two board network. The definition of the ABCD matrix for the two board, net uh, two board network is defined as follows. If this is a two board network and the voltage and the current at board 1 is defined as V1 and I1. And the voltage and the current at the board 2 are defined as V2 and I2. So the relation between V1, I1 and V2 and I2 is given as V1 equals A multiplied by V2 plus B multiplied by I2 and I equals C multiplied by V2 plus D multiplied by I2 which can be represented in the form of a matrix as the vector V1 I1 equals the matrix ABCD multiplied by the vector V2 I2 should be noted here that the unit of the parameter A is dimensionless, while the unit of the parameter B is impedance. The unit of the parameter C is admittance, and the unit of the parameter D is dimensionless. Also, it should be noted that the definition of the direction of the current at the output port here is opposite to the conventional direction of current which has been used for the impedance matrix, admittance matrix and the scattering matrix. So can be noted here the output current I2 is going outside the board or is going outside the network. For the definition of the impedance matrix and the admittance matrix I2 was given to be going inside the network. Actually we have taken this direction of 
the current I2 such that when this network is cascaded by another network the current I2 would be the input of the current for this following uh, network that's what we are seeing here <coughs> it is important to note that a change in the sign of the in the side convention of I2 has been made the convention that I2 follows out of board 2 will be used when dealing with the ABCD matrices so that cascaded network I2 will be the same current flow into the adjacent network assuming that we have network 1 and network 2 here network 1 has current I1 and I2 network 2 has current I2 and I3 so the current going outside of the first network is going inside the second network or the second cascaded network okay now we have two cascaded networks uh, in this case the total ABCD matrix will be simply the multiplication of the ABCD matrix of the first network multiplied by the ABCD matrix of the second network so if you have two cascaded networks the relation between V1 and V2 for the first network is given by V1 I1 equals A1 B1 C1 B1 multiplied by V2 I2 and the relation between V2 I2 to V3 I3 is given by the ABCD matrix of the second network as V2 I2 equals A2 B2 C2 D2 multiplied by V3 I3 now the relation between the output current to the input current it can be obtained by replacing V2 I2 by the matrix A2 B2 C2 C2 D2 multiplied by V3 I3 as follows so the relation between V1 I1 and V3 I3 the input and the output is the multiplication of the ABCD matrix of the cascaded two networks so the total ABCD matrix of the network in this case is the ABCD matrix of network 1 multiplied by ABCD matrix of network 2 that's what we are seeing the ABCD matrix of cascaded connection of two networks is equal to the product of the ABCD matrices representing the individual two parts and it should be noted here this product must be done in the same sequence of the arrangement of the network assuming that this is the input matching network and this is the amplifier so I must multiply the ABCD matrix of the input matching network by the ABCD matrix of the amplifier so the arrangement should be taken into consideration that's what we are seeing the order of multiplication of the matrix must be the same as the order in which the networks are arranged since a matrix multiplication is not in general commutative commutative means that x multiplied by y equal y multiplied by x this is not a property of matrix multiplication all right as an example assume that we have a series impedance z and it is required to get the ABCD matrix for this simple two port network, this series matrix Z. So the value of A equals V1 over V2 when I2 equals 0. V1 over V2 when I2 equals 0 means that the second board should be open circuit. When the second board is open circuit, the relation between the voltage here to the voltage here is the same. So V2 over V1 is unique. 
B it would be V1 over I2 when V2 equals 0 V2 equals 0 it means that the port 2 would be short circuit So, V1 over I2, I2 is the current flowing in the second board, and the current following the second board in this case would be the potential difference V1 over Z, V1 over Z, and here V1 over V1 over Z, so B would be V1 over V1 over Z, it would be Z. And as I mentioned, A is dimensionless. B has a dimension of impedance. Okay. C is I1 over V2 when I2 equals 0. When I2 equals 0 means that the board 2 equal or is open circuit. And when the board 2 is open circuit we don't have any current or any voltage drop here so the current I1 in this case it would be zero if this open circuit there is no current flowing in this circuit so the value of C would be zero finally the value of D is I1 over I2 when V2 equals 0. When V2 equals 0, this short circuit. I1 is the current here to I2 is the current here, which is the same current. So this would be unit. Right? And this is dimensionless. This actually with dimension of admittance, but this is 0 in the present case. So these are the elements of the ABCD matrix for a simple series impedance. Two board network. In a similar way, one can prove the different ABCD matrix or matrices for different networks. For example, if I have a shunt admittance Y, the ABCD matrix in this case A would be 1, B would be 0, C would be Y. Here it is quite clear that C has dimension of admittance and B equals 1. If I have uh, a simple transmission line section of length L with a propagation constant beta and characteristic impedance Z0 the ABCD matrix of such simple transmission line network A would be cosine beta L B would be JZ0 sine beta L C would be JY0 sine beta L and B would be cosine beta L. I advise you to check these values by following the same steps which we have discussed in the previous example. Other examples we have a transformer with turns ratio n to 1. The ABCD A would be n. B would be 0, C would be 0, and D would be 1 over N. If I have a bi network with admittances Y1, Y2, and Y3, uh, the equivalent ABCD matrix for this circuit would be A equals 1 plus Y2 over Y3. B would be 1 over Y3. C would be Y1, Y2 plus Y1, Y2 over Y3. And D would be 1 plus Y1 over Y3. If we have a T network of impedances Z1, Z2, and Z3, the corresponding ABCD matrix would be A would be 1 plus Z1 over Z3. B would be Z1 plus Z2 plus Z1, Z2 over Z3. C would be 1 over Z3. And finally, D would be 1 
plus z2 over z3. Once again, I advise you to follow up the same steps in the example to prove these ABCD values. Okay.